There is nothing boring about these burgers. I'm gonna have all of these recipes linked in the description box so that you can have exact measurements for your family. So if you have any questions at all about how much to use, make sure you check the description box. All right, this first recipe is called a crack burger. And this is one of those recipes where pretty much everything actually goes into the burger mixture and not necessarily as toppings. You can add whatever kind of toppings you want, obviously. But I'm adding just a little bit of Greek yogurt. You guys know we use that in place of sour cream. If you want to use sour cream, please, by all means, feel like you could do that. And we're gonna toss in some cheddar cheese. You guys know Kerrygold is our favorite, but you use whatever kind of cheese you want to use. If you've been here for a while, you also know we always have cooked bacon ready to go on hand. So I'm gonna take a couple of these pieces and just crumble them here right into the patty. Already cooked, crumbled, ready to go. If you don't have bacon prepped and ready to go, then definitely cook some up because these burgers with the bacon, it's just so good. Tell me in the comments, what are your favorite burger toppings? How do you eat your burger? Are you a plain Jane? Do you prefer not a whole lot of stuff? Do you prefer all the stuff? Tell me below how, what is your like best way to eat a burger? Ooh, and also add to that, what's your favorite cook on a burger? We definitely go for a medium, maybe even closer to like medium rare-ish. All right, we have a packet of ranch seasoning, ranch dressing mix. We're just gonna add some of this to our beef mixture and let's just stir all of this together. We wanna combine it really well. Now I'm gonna show you a little tip that I have that I think it's been a game changer for us for years. No joke, we've had this thing for like 10 years. I will have one linked in the description box. This is a patty maker. It's so simple, you can probably get them at the Dollar Tree, but this one's probably from like Amazon or Walmart or Target or something. I'm telling you, it makes the perfect patties. So you just spoon some of your mixture in there. I don't even use the press that goes on the top. I think I've used it a couple of times, but rarely. Okay, there you go, burger. Also, what is your favorite way to cook a burger? Do you guys always do them on the grill? Do you feel like in the house is better? Do you use a flat top or a regular grill? What's your favorite way to cook them? So easy, ready to go on the grill. As soon as my husband fires that thing up, we're gonna put these on. We toasted the buns just a little bit on the grill because they are so good that way. For the cheese and bacon and ranch, we're gonna put some tomato on the bun here because it's so good. Got a little rosemary on it, but that's okay. Raise your hand if you like a good Southern style burger. You get to add all these really fun things to the top of it, which is something I love. I love adding stuff to a burger just elevating it, making it nice and tall, adding all the things. I'm starting with this new seasoning from Auntie Nono's. It is burger seasoning. Absolutely, you should feel like you can just use salt and pepper if you want to as your seasoning, but I'm really excited to try this specific one out. I've tried the grilling one, but not the burger one. So we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this on here. So for this one, I it's, it's really all about the topping. So we've got our burger seasoning in there, which is gonna make it so good, but this one, just wait and see, because we're gonna add all the things to the top. So this one, making up the patty is really simple. The other ingredients, that's gonna be super fun. Now for good measure, we're just gonna top this off with a little bit of extra seasoning here. And um, I'm using my left hand, <laughs> it's not going very well. All right, so this one is gonna be ready to go on the grill. When you think of the South, you know you think of fried green tomatoes and pimento cheese. We're gonna add that to the burger. My recipe for fried green tomatoes is very, very simple. This is just salt mixed with flour. I'm going to dip into the flour, dip into the egg, dip into either cornmeal, breadcrumbs, whichever one you prefer. Keeping it really simple. I've already got oil heating over in my cast iron skillet. And we'll head over there in just a minute.
All right, I'm gonna make up some pimento cheese. You can, you should absolutely feel like you can just buy it in your grocery store. We're starting with shredded cheddar cheese. This is Kerrygold cheddar, which is more of a white cheddar. But again, this is one of those things, you use whatever kind of cheese that you love. I know a lot of people don't have things like diced pimentos just kind of ready to go, but we do. So we're going to add in some diced pimentos. Actually what we do is add some mayonnaise and that's what we're gonna do. Just add in a little bit of mayo here. And of course, we're using our favorite. And then usually what we will do is add some cream cheese, but because we've got a lot of other things going on in these burger recipes, a lot of other fatty ingredients, I'm gonna add in some more protein by using some non-fat plain Greek yogurt instead of cream cheese. All right, that's all we do, just mix it together. Oh, we are gonna add a little bit of salt, pinch of salt. And in my opinion, pimento cheese is one of those things that honestly just gets better as it sits in the refrigerator. So don't be afraid to make this the day before or a couple of days before. For this Southern style burger, we are going to put some fried green tomatoes on the bottom. I cannot wait. This one is gonna be so delicious. Now we're gonna top it with our burger patty. Add in some pimento cheese. So good. That looks delicious. For me, this burger is so classic. Mushroom Swiss, I love it. If I'm at a really good burger place, I am always drawn to the Mushroom Swiss burger. I've got some fresh rosemary here, and I feel like this just takes a burger over the top. I love fresh rosemary. I really wish that I could grow it for some reason. Everybody tells me it's so easy. It's so easy, you should be able to do it. I don't know, I can't. It doesn't work for me. All right, so we're gonna mince this up. So for me, this burger is, yes, it's about the patty, but I love, I love Swiss. I wanna make sure that you're really going to get the flavor of the burger, but also get the flavor of the toppings that are gonna go on it. Rosemary, to me, is a very potent herb. So we want all these flavors to be balanced. All right, we've got some rosemary. You can definitely add onion in here. You know I'm not going to, but I am gonna top it with a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder. It's gonna make the burger a little more of a wet burger, like before it goes on the grill, but you need to add some Worcestershire to this one, okay? Just trust me. We're gonna add a little bit of that. And for this one, just because of the flavors, I don't wanna mask any of the flavors. I want to taste all the flavors, just salt and pepper. It smells so good already. I love this one. All right, let's use our handy dandy patty maker and make us a burger patty. I feel like, okay, so these are gonna look large as you're making them, but the good thing about it is when they cook, they end up being like the perfect bun size. Another thing that I tend to do is press in the center just a little bit more. This is a really thick burger. This one's gonna be good, but just press in the center a little bit. All right, so this one is ready to go. Now, obviously for mushroom Swiss, we gotta have the mushrooms. So let's head over to the stove. We're gonna saute these. I'm starting with one tablespoon of butter. We're gonna go ahead and melt this and then we will add in the mushrooms and get those cooking. I also like to add a little bit of Worcestershire into the mushrooms while they're cooking. It just adds such good flavor and a little bit of salt. Now these only take about five minutes or so. Once they get close to being done, we are gonna add some garlic in there because we don't wanna burn the garlic. We don't want it to cook for too long. So we're starting with the mushrooms first. You could also add onions in, just feel free to do that. These mushrooms are coming along really nicely. I've got some more minced rosemary, which I feel like is just perfect because it's gonna tie in the flavor of the mushrooms with the burger that we already put rosemary in. And now it's time to add a little bit of that minced garlic. I am currently waiting on the burgers to come off of the grill and I cannot stop eating the mushrooms. They are so, those rosemary mushrooms, oh my goodness, you guys, so good. Here's our Swiss. We gotta add those mushrooms. Now you wanna make sure you get a good amount of mushrooms on there. 
Okay, you guys can see how delicious these look, but we're gonna try them for you and let you know which is the best. All right, which one do you wanna try first? This is the bacon ranch cheddar, southern style, and mushroom Swiss, which I already told you guys, the mushroom Swiss, those mushrooms. This, uh, this, they all sound good. This yeah. one sounds the lamest of the three. Really? But we'll see what the taste is. All right. Is. So let's try the bacon ranch cheddar then first. Are you just gonna go after it? Okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, every time. You're so good at it. You just do this right here. <laughs> see? <laughs> Nailed it. Oh boy. The burger has great flavor. The actual patty itself has really, really good flavor. I can taste the ranch. I can taste the cheese. I can I can taste all the elements of it. I actually think it's very good. There's something kind of sweet in it. What else? The bread is sweet. It's a brioche bun. That's what it is. Okay. So the bread is sweet. So that can obviously alter the taste as well. All right, I'm gonna try this at the same time. Oh man. His head's cut off. His head is always cut off. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Yeah. That was good. Does that have bacon too? No. So you got the crunch from the... Fried green tomato. Fried green tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You got the pimento cheese. Yeah, all that works really good yeah, together. Yeah, it's really good. Another suggestion I saw was to add like crispy onion rings to it too, which could add another element of crunch. I feel like that would be too big. It's a big burger, so, yeah. but the flavors are there for sure. All right, mushroom Swiss. Mm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Those mushrooms are so good. To me, that's the clear winner. It's so delicious. We're mushroom fans. Yeah, but I added the rosemary in there and that Worcestershire. It's so good, y'all. So good. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspiration for different kinds of burgers that you can make this weekend, whenever it is that you wanna make some burgers. They don't have to be lame. They don't have to be plain. You guys can, you can really make an awesome burger. I hope you're having a great week. Bye. Kind of making a little concave-ness, con, con, concave, convex can't remember now. All right, which one do you want to try? Which? You have to stand on this side of me because you're not Mike. And your head's going to be cut off, so you're going to have to be super low. I got on my teeth. <laughs> they Our verse today comes from Psalm 119, 11. I've stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you.